Okay. Ashley, go ahead. Uh, thank you. I want to follow up on Governor Cuomo, and then I have a question about schools. Sure. Um, so Governor Cuomo, you said uh, President Biden supports an independent review of the sexual harassment allegations against him. Um, but one of those aides, 25-year-old Charlotte Bennett, Bennett rather, detailed specific language and questions that she said the governor asked her about her personal life that made her feel uncomfortable. And the governor himself has not denied asking these personal questions. So my question for you is, in general, when it comes to sexual misconduct, where is the red line for this president and the administration? Is it only at unwanted physical overtures, or is it at unwelcome language between a boss and a subordinate with a power differential? Well, Ashley, as I, as I said yesterday, that story was incredibly uncomfortable to read as a woman. Um, and we certainly believe that every woman coming forward, Charlotte, uh, Lindsay uh, have uh, should be treated with respect and dignity and be able to tell their story uh, and treated with respect. Uh, there is a process of reviewing, as you noted, um, uh, an independent investigation. We will leave it to that process through the attorney general uh, to make a determination on the path forward. But just in general, not, not about this specific case, but can you just explain? I mean, your White House accepted the resignation of someone who used simply language that was inappropriate and abusive. Um, is there a red line when it comes just to language, or is uh, President Biden's red line, does it have to be something? I'm not sure, a red line for whom? I'm not sure what you mean. In what, it, like, with what outcome? For, for If the review shows that Governor Cuomo asked her questions, um, that it's not, you know, as has also been alleged in other instances, a, a forceful kiss or an unwelcome physical overture, but just mere questions about someone's personal life um, or sex life or romantic life or anything that makes someone feel uncomfortable, especially in a subordinate um, a relationship with someone in power, is that something where someone should have to resign or should there be other consequences? That's what I mean by the red line. Look, look the, the, the language, um, the, um, uh, you know, the president has a bar for what is expected in his administration, which you referenced, uh, treating people with civility, uh, treating people with respect. Uh, and that's what bar he holds in his administration. In terms of the path forward uh, and the outcome of the investigation, uh, we will leave it to the attorney general and others to conclude that. Okay. Um, and then on schools, first I want to make sure I understand President Biden's 100-day pledge to reopen schools. Is that getting 51% of K-8 through schools open five days a week? Am I correct on that? Uh, the majority of schools open five days a week. That is certainly our objective, and we'd like to meet that within 100 days. And we hope our Secretary of Education is confirmed soon, who will be overseeing that process moving forward. And by five days a week, is that every single kid who wants to be in school, that individual kid is going five days a week, or is that the building open five days a week? but kids perhaps doing a hybrid model, half the class on Mondays and Wednesdays, the other half on... We'd like kids to be able to be in school five days a week. 